as a retail trader or somebody in a smaller firm, it's been very hard and very expensive to find some sort of new data that no one else is using. A big problem is information overload. But the temptation is, since you can easily do a lot of things now, a single human does the whole process. And that could be risky in terms of quality, in terms of uh, overlooking some pitfalls and so on. How can AI effectively assist uh, smaller desk or independent traders even with limited resources in processing alternative or unstructured data while uh, helping them avoid overpitting or finding false edges? A big problem is information overload. Uh, using AI to review annual reports, uh, earnings reports, uh, news, having AI look out for things out of the ordinary. And, and again, you want to tune them or have them pay attention to things that you know about. Like if you're especially knowledgeable about um, stocks in Hong Kong, Singapore, India, um, you know, wherever, focus on properties of those that you will be able to take advantage of um, and have, have the AI raise those flags for you. Don't try to make money trading Apple because there's a billion people out there. There's no inefficiency left uh, in Apple, but uh, there are corners of the space where that, and, and yes, AI can, can absolutely help you do that. Prime time to be there right now because a lot of the big funds, you can pick out the big names in the hedge fund world, have been touting about alternative data for the last 10, 15 years now. I think this is the time where as a retail trader or somebody even a smaller firm, it's been very hard and very expensive to find some sort of new data that no one else is using. And I think now we're seeing a lot of this with AI. You can take data sources, put it in, have it summarized for you, convert it into a tabular format and then go through a modeling process with that. So it gives you a little bit of an edge there. Um, quality though is the hard part, right? If you're going to be processing large amounts of data, you have to have some sort of reasonable process to go back through that and check for quality. Um, again, I think using more of a standard approach in the modeling space kind of helps offset any sort of overfitting you'll see though. Typically unstructured sources, we transform them into uh, numbers, into structured uh, data sets. And this is something which definitely we have been using, not completely, but uh, LLMs to substitute some natural language processing tools. Uh, so we have also been using these and in some cases in, we have seen a, a, a relevant improvement Definitely these models uh, have uh, enabled even a single guy to implement from scratch a whole pipeline that goes from the data to the final strategy and so on. Uh, typically what is recommendable, according to my opinion, is that in terms of the data, pipeline should not be left to a single guy. I mean, even in the small companies, there should be someone accountable for data and the coherence of the data and the data quality. And from that, you know, you can source the data into strategies. But the temptation is, since you can easily do a lot of things now, a single human does the whole process. And that could be risky in terms of quality, in terms of uh, overlooking some pitfalls and so on.